A Dalmatian adopted a spotted baby lamb. Baboons, in turn, are stealing wild dogs and raising them as pets. And there's a monkey that believes a dog is her real mom. Speaking of which, the monkey who believed a dog is her mom. This is Avni. She's a baby monkey who was injured when she stepped on an electric wire and lost her troop. She was taken into custody by the authorities, but the more time she spent in her cage, the worse she felt. She was very stressed, until she met Billow. Billow's a house cat who helped Avni get better. The baby monkey would feel better whenever she was close to the cat. Billow saw this little guy needed help, so he developed a loving relationship with Avni. Billow and Avni would spend time in the crate every day. After about a month, Avni was healed, but then other problems arose. Being a monkey, Avni wanted to play. Billow didn't like this, so she kept pushing Avni away. Eventually, the baby monkey made friends with the dogs who were more playful than Billow. One day, Avni discovered she could ride Mooney, one of the dogs she was playing with. Since that day, you can see Avni strapped to the back of this dog as if it was her mother. Next up, we have the orangutan that adopted a lion. It might seem strange to adopt lions, but not for this orangutan. In a zoo in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, this orangutan became very close with a bunch of tiger cubs. In fact, this male orangutan is considered the cub's surrogate. The orangutan learned how to care for the cubs after watching caregivers take care of the tiger cubs. One day, he decided to give it a try. Now he spends his time feeding them milk from a baby bottle, playing with them and petting them. The tiger cubs don't mind and have grown to love the orangutan. Baboons adopted feral dogs. The baboons of Taif often steal babies. This strange phenomenon is present amongst the male baboon population who kidnapped feral puppies while their mother was looking. The puppy squealed and tried to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the puppy tried to run away, but it was no use. The pup was too weak to escape the baboon tribe. Eventually, the puppies learned to feed at the dump with the baboons, sleep together, and follow the group of baboons as it migrated. The ultimate test of acceptance is grooming. When the baboons began to groom the dogs, it meant the males had fully accepted them into the tribe. If the tribe member is not a relative, other members will not groom them. The reason for adopting pet dogs is simple. Baboons want to be defended from other feral dogs. The dogs who are kept as pets will guard the tribe of baboons at night making sure no predator gets close to harming them. And now comes the pigeon that adopted a chihuahua. It's the middle of 2018. A stranger phoned the Mia Foundation, a pet center that saves animals with birth defects. They told her about a pigeon that was standing in the middle of a car dealership parking lot. Later, they discovered that the pigeon had neurological issues preventing him from flying. The Mia Foundation took him in and tried to make his life more interesting by surrounding him with other animals. A year and a half went by and Herman was happy. But then this little chihuahua got admitted to the Mia Foundation, who couldn't use his back legs. They put him on the same bed as Herman, and immediately Herman and Lundy began bonding. During Lundy's therapy, they became best friends. They would play together and they would sleep together. They would even eat food together. Not out of the same bowl, of course. Herman hates dog food. Their relationship was so good that Herman even began nibbling on Lundy's legs. It looked like chew toys. So now the pigeon that can't fly and the chihuahua that can't walk have created a friendship of a lifetime. A Dalmatian adopted a spotted lamb. Located in Barossa Valley, Australia, John Bolton's sheep gave birth to a very unusual lamb. Instead of the regular black, white, or brown, this lamb was spotted. The tiny black spots all over its fur made it resemble a Dalmatian. John Bolton says this happens once in a blue moon. But something else happened that blue moon, Bolton's female Dalmatian feeling the motherly instinct, and it wasn't long before she noticed the spotted lamb that looked like one of her own pups. The Boltons are now facing a big dilemma. They don't know what to call their spotted lamb. They'll either name it a Sheepmation or a Dal Dopper. Well, whatever they decide, one thing's certain, this little guy will be a big surprise for Mama Dalmatian when he grows up. And then we have the Beagle and the Bunny. When it comes to beagles and bunnies, they usually don't get along, but that's not the case when you're a broken beagle. Unlike other dogs of this breed, she doesn't have a prey drive and doesn't like to hunt rabbits. In fact, Chloe has even adopted a pet bunny and became best friends with the little guy. Chloe and Rue are close. They're best friends. Their favorite season is winter because they can play in the snow. They like to run in the snow, roll in it, eat it, and look out the window when it's snowing. 
During the summer, when Chloe's outside playing and Rue is inside the pen, Rue will start climbing the fence. That means it's time to put Chloe inside the pen so they can spend time together. Rue's the more laid back and chill of the two. Chloe will run around, wag her tail, and bring toys to Rue, and the bunny will sit there with a puzzled look on her face. The dog that nursed a lion cub. Born in a zoo in Sri Lanka, this lion club was rejected by its mother. Struggling to survive, the little white lion was accepted and adopted by a female dog who had just given birth. At first, the mother didn't accept the baby lion, but eventually she grew to love him and even allowed him to suckle along with her pups. The lion cub now fits in with its new family, and the owner of the mama dog says she seems to love the lion cub more than her own pups. She'll lick him, groom him, and keep him out of danger. During the three weeks of suckling, the little puppies were playing with the lion cub as if it were one of their brothers. Once it grew big enough, it was finally moved to a zoo, and from there, it was transferred to a sanctuary. But the lion still recognizes his old owner and even allows petting. Next comes the tiger and piglets. This is a six-year-old Bengal tigress. These are little piglets dressed in tiger-striped clothes to resemble tiger cubs. The question is, will they trick the tigress into accepting the piglets as her own cubs? Of course she will. You see, this female tiger has been raising piglets since she was two years old. One of the zookeepers says that the baby pigs were so close to the tigress that they instinctively ran towards the tigress instead of their biological mother. And don't worry, nothing will happen if they remove the tiger-striped clothes. They wore the clothes because it was a little cold at the zoo. Let's not forget about the cat and the ducklings. On an Irish farm, Ronan and Emma decided to buy some fertilized duck eggs and hatch them on their farm. After the ducklings were born, Ronan couldn't find them for six hours. Then Ronan saw their cat jump from the pigeonhole, and putting two and two together, Ronan figured the cat must have eaten the baby ducks. He called his wife, and as soon as Emma arrived, their cat brought them a baby duck in its mouth. The couple was horrified. They thought it would kill the duckling in front of them. Luckily, she was carrying the ducklings to a safe place where she nurtured them, kept them warm, and played with them. The ducklings grew so fond of their cat mama that they were even suckling her milk. The Deer That Sleeps With A Bunny Nellie, the baby deer, lost her mom. She was alone and anxious for a friend. After all of her fond friends were released into the wild, Nellie made friends with Polly. Polly was a five-week-old bunny. Nellie began licking Polly on the nose, and their owner was a little concerned but after seeing how close they were, she let them play together. Eventually, she found the baby deer and the bunny rabbit sleeping together in the same corner, keeping each other warm. Since that day, this has become a ritual for the two. In a way, Polly was the mother to Nellie. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.